Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the 19th annual MADC Awards Celebration. I want to sincerely thank Arkema for generously supporting tonight's event. I would also like to acknowledge the department's external advisory board members, Ruth Ann Wood, John Creek, Ryan Dirks, Lucille Gianuzzi, Teresa Kotanchek, Bob Kumpf, Sam Mook, Don Moffat Fairbanks, Sasha Perkins Schmidt, Mike Petrusi, Titi Shodia, David Simpson, Ed Sabota, Mary Strzlecki, and William Woodford. Thank you all for serving in this important role. Tonight, we are celebrating the achievements of our MATC students, staff, and faculty whose contributions help continue our leadership as a top-ranked material science and engineering department. We are also showing our appreciation for the generous support of our alumni, friends, and partners. Their generosity has been critical in furthering the mission of our department. I would like to start by acknowledging the gifts we have received since the 2020 MATSI Awards presentation. The Dorothy Pate and Wright Professorship in the Department of Material Science and Engineering, the Dorothy Pate and Wright Scholarship, and the Professor Vladimir Stupikan Undergraduate Scholarship in Material Science and Engineering. Thank you very much for your generous support. We continue to excel in the rankings. In the US News and World Report rankings of undergraduate engineering programs in materials, we are ranked number 10. In the latest ranking of graduate schools, our graduate program was ranked 11th in the nation. In addition, I am very pleased to share that the National Science Foundation ranks Penn State first in the nation in expenditures in the area of material science and second in the nation in expenditures in the area of materials engineering for the third year in a row. It is truly an honor to receive the, this national recognition for our programs. We have had another productive year with many successes and I'd like to share some of these with you now. Titi Shoadaya, a 2010 graduate in the College of Earth and Mineral Sciences and from the Department of Material Science where she earned her BS received the 2021 Penn State Alumni Association Alumni Achievement Award. Congratulations, TD. Our faculty have received many, many accolades and I'm gonna share just a few with you. Susan Troller McKinstry was named an Evan Pugh University Professor. John Paul Maria was elected Fellow of the American Ceramic Society. Zikwe Liu was named the inaugural Dorothy Pate and Wright Professor. John Morrow was elected to the 2020 as a 2020 Fellow of the National Academy of Inventors. Clive Randall was named Distinguished Professor. And John Morrow and Josh Robinson received Penn State Faculty Scholar Medals. I hope that you had a chance to view the video from this last year. Heather sent a link to everyone, and it's also available on the MATC YouTube channel and on our website, matc.psu.edu. Now I'd like to turn the award and recognition part of the program to Clive Randall, who will be presenting our 13th annual materials visualization competition, which is an annual scientific and artistic visual competition co-sponsored by Matt C and the Materials Research Institute or MRI. Clive. Thank you, Susan, and good evening, everybody. Yes, yeah, so uh, it's with great pleasure that I have a chance to, to talk about this. Uh, the materials visualization competition or MVC was created for the quality of research in materials at Penn State. This competition increases awareness of the material science 
through its creativity and visualization um, that is done by our researchers. Um, winning images will be used to create artwork in displays in both the offices of Seidel Building and in the Millennium Science Complex in MRI. And this year we had 31 fantastic entries. So let's start. Our newest category, the People's Choice Award, which began in 2020, allows public to vote electronically for their favorite entry in a period of one week. There were more than 2,160 votes that were cast in this category um, um, this last year. And the winner of the 2021 People's Choice Award is Chiang Mao, postdoc scholar, Department of Mechanical Engineering, advised by Andre Van Duen. Winners in the scientific division, we have three uh, places, third, second, and first. In third place is Qian Lu, um, graduate student, Department of Material Science and Engineering, advised by Alison Beasy. Beautiful image. Number two is Joseph Rifat Ali, whose image uh, um, um, is also spectacular. This is a graduate student in additive manufacturing and design and is advised by Todd Palmer. And the winner, Ron Kao, Assistant Research Professor, Department of Mechanical Engineering. The next category, winners in the uh, visual division So here, the third place entry was Yosef Rifat Ali, Graduate School Additive Manufacturing Design, advised by Todd Palmer. Second place, Rian uh, Abraham Mani Yaha, who's a postdoc in the, who's a postdoc in the Department of Material Science and Engineering, advised by Joshua Robinson. And first place. Katie Giras, uh, graduate student, Department of Material Science and Engineering, advised by John Morrow. Each of those was spectacular and gave, gave everybody a difficult job to find which was the winner, but I think we've made a very good choice. Okay, next category is the winner in the computa uh, computation modeling division. And the third place for this category James Goff, graduate student, Department of Materials Science and Engineering, advised by Ishmaela Dabu and Susan Sinat. Second place, Kian Mao, postdoctoral researcher, um, mechanical engineering, advised by Andre Van Duen. And first place is Mao uh, Malagotzati, uh, Kowaki, postdoctoral researcher, mechanical engineering advised by Audrey Van Duen. So as you can tell there was lots of fantastic entries, but we now come to the exciting category of best in show. Katie Girish, graduate student, material science engineering advised by John Morrow. Thank you all for um, your entries to compete in this year's materials visualization competition. Um, I think that Katie will be selling these off to uh, interested buyers and, um, and this is a, again a great pleasure to be a part of this in partnership with material science and engineering. Thank you very much. Thank you, Clive. I would now like to introduce our two masters of ceremony, Brianna Semino and Matt, a Matsi graduate student in the accelerated master's program, and Xi'an Ching or Colin Lee, a Matsi undergraduate student. Colin and Brianna. Thank you, Dr. Sandler. 
Uh, now we will begin with the presentation of the undergraduate awards. First, George W. Brindley Award in the Metallic Crystal Chemistry. The purpose of this award is to recognize annually the top academic students in MET-C400 Crystal Chemistry. The award goes to Zachary Boring. Congratulations. Uh, Michael M. and Mary Jane Coleman Undergraduate Award in Polymer Science and Engineering. The purpose of this award is to recognize annually an undergraduate student enrolled in material science and engineering for excellence in the polymer curriculum. This year's Coleman Award goes to Rachel Martin. Congratulations. Robert W. Lindsay Award in Metallurgy. The purpose of this award is to recognize annually an undergraduate student enrolled in the, in the metallurgy curriculum. This year's Lindsay Award goes to Christopher Diesel. David W. Richardson Service Award in Material Science and Engineering. The purpose of this award is to honor and recognize outstanding service by an undergraduate student majoring in METC. This year's a Richardson Award goes to Haley Meyer. Congratulations. Guy and Ray Rendon Award for Academic Excellence in Material Science and Engineering. The purpose of this award is to recognize a student with the highest grade point average in material science engineering courses who will graduate in the current academic year. This year's random award goes to Madeline Vela. Congratulations. And now I'm going to announce the results from the material science and engineering undergrad research poster competition. The third place, Mohammad Kahan. Predicting photocatalytic water splitting activity from polyhedral distortion in main group metal oxides. Congratulations, Mohammed. And second place goes to Christopher Diesel. Multi, multi layer nanostructure nitride thin films with nonlinear optical response for manipulation of high energy coherent beams. Congratulations. The first place goes to Brian Lee. Electrochemical formation and stability of platinum nano cages from first principles. Congratulations, Brian. Congratulations to all of the undergrad award winners. At this point, I'd like to turn the program over to Brianna to present the graduate awards. Thank you, Colin. Uh, we will now present the graduate awards. The first award is the Robert E. Newnham Award for Research Excellence. This award recognizes outstanding graduate students enrolled in the inter-college graduate degree program in MATC. The award goes to Azim Khan Koz Kozakmatov, Caleb Meredith, and Lei Chin Miao. Congratulations. Next, we have the Coppola Graduate Student Award for Student Service and Leadership. This award recognizes a graduate student who exhibits outstanding leadership and service, both in and outside of the program that benefits MATC. This year's Service and Leadership Award goes to Caitlin Kirchner, Chloe Skidmore, Alex Wilson Heed, Angela Clary, Tatiana Kuznetsova, John Shimanek, Sarah Loam, Matt Mancini, and Nicole Hall. Congrats. Next, we have the Howard O. and Jean Beaver Graduate Studies Award. This award gives our graduate students the opportunity to enhance their communication skills and deepen their knowledge of material science and engineering. This award recognizes six of our students for outstanding achievement as a teaching assistant. This award goes to Brandon Bockland, Andres Fes Carreno, 
Abby Kneffel, Jeffrey Kranz, and Sai Bachu. Congrats. Next, we have the Material Science and Engineering Graduate Research Poster Competition. This year, we had two winners in the individual poster category. In second place is Aye Han for Rheology of Entangled Polyelectric Solutions. And in first place is Sai Bachu with Atomic Structure of Vertical and In-Plane Heterostructures formed by two-dimensional molybdenum disulfide and rhenium disulfide. Congratulations to both of you. Uh, next, we will be presenting the department awards, starting with the David J. Green Material Faculty Service Award, was established to enrich the Department of Material Science and Engineering by recognizing a faculty member who has performed outstanding service work and provide support to faculty to further their contribution in teaching, research, and public service in METC. This year's winner is Professor Joshua Robinson. Dr. Robinson led the METI Strategic Planning Initiative in 2020 and is the organizer of the Safety Olympics each year. Thank you, Dr. Robinson, for your many contribution to the department. The Matsi Faculty Member of the Year Award recognizes a faculty member who displays excellence in teaching, research, advising, or outreach. Nominations for this award are sent to the Student Advisory Committee, and the students choose the recipient. One of the nominators writes of this year's awardee, I cannot think of anyone better who embodies these criteria than this year's awardee. This year's awardee is an effective educator by not only teaching the course material, but also making sure students understand the course material. As an advisor, he regularly meets with, his, with both graduate and undergraduate students, whether it's related to classwork or academic research. The nominator goes on to a state that the, uh, this year's awardee always makes himself available to meet with me at any time that works best for my schedule even sometimes that are early in the morning or late at the night. And his commitment of time goes beyond this. He always makes sure that the students can take their time. He always works with me on solving problems. And he often tells me that we are scientists and humans, and we're meant to make mistakes and correct them. Be patient and take your time. Another nominator writes of this year's awardee. In addition to this person's passion for teaching and research, he demonstrates an extra, extraordinary commitment to mentorship and outreach in the material science community. He is always looking to collaborate and make inroads with other research groups, including those outside the department. It is my sincere pleasure to recognize Professor Isabella Double as the recipient of 2021 Matsi Faculty Member of the Year Award. Congratulations. We will now turn the program back to Dr. Sinnott. Thank you very much, Brianna and Colin, for doing such a wonderful job uh, as Masters of Ceremony at this year's award celebration. It is now my pleasure to recognize Ama Agyapang and Alex Vera as the 2021 Outstanding Safety Award recipients. Let me share some of their accomplishments. Ama has been act, an active advocate for laboratory safety since she arrived on campus as a new graduate student, serving as one of two student representatives on the Materials Research Institute Safety Committee. Over the past year, she led efforts at MRI to guide return to work efforts and to ensure that all researchers were educated prior to returning to work in research labs after the initial COVID shutdown. She organized a town hall as well as participated in making a video on entry protocols. 
She was also an invited panelist at a COVID-19 impacts discussion at the, sec the 62nd Electronic Materials Conference in June of 2020. As the only student on the panel, her participation garnered positive feedback on her poise, knowledge, and articulate speaking. She is not only a shining light for safety at Penn State, but in the broader scientific community as well. Congratulations, Ama. Alex demonstrates a consistent commitment to laboratory safety through his actions as the laboratory management for the Josh Robinson Group. He is proactive in completing the tasks required for that job, but also goes above and beyond to help the materials community in general. He was the first lab manager to develop a COVID-19 safe uh, SOP at the Materials Research Institute, which served as a template for all the statement of practice put in place by other groups. As a student representative of the MRI Safety Committee, he is an active participant in meetings and provides leadership beyond expectations. One area in which he has been active since he started graduate school was as an organizer of the annual Materials Safety Olympics. Last year, when there was a question of how to put on such an event during the pandemic, he single-handedly developed online events that allowed the Olympics to go on and promote safety in a fun manner. Alex's example of living a safety culture leadership enhances that culture and is inspiring to us all. Congratulations, Alex. Now we come to the staff awards. And typically this is given to a single individual, but this year we are recognizing not one, but three deserving individuals. I am very pleased that this year's Outstanding Staff Award go goes to Valerie Steer, Shauna Wagner, and Laura Taro. I will now discuss their contributions to the department. Valerie began her Penn State career in MATC and has taken her responsibilities most seriously. She always handles herself in a professional manner and manages the key swipe card access system and completes most of the purchases that take place in our department. She does not he hesitate to pitch in when help, where help is needed, regardless of the position or the duties the job may entail. She, for example, she stepped up and took on additional training in order to assist in the area of finance and student services when help was needed. Most recently, Valerie assisted Scott Henninger and the department in a huge space inventory project that was due to the college and the university. She asked for little assistance and was proactive in finding answers to questions. Valerie works independently to get the job done in an accurate and efficient manage, manner. She is a joy to work with and is a true asset to the department. She is highly deserving of the MATC Outstanding Staff Award. Congratulations, Valerie. Our second recipient, Shauna, brings a unique set of skills to the technical support staff in MATC. She not only excels in diagnosing and repairing malfunctioning equipment, she has extensive knowledge of computers and electronics. There were many times that Shauna has been called on to work on a problem involving lack of communication between a piece of equipment, the computer, and the computer controlling that equipment. She quickly diagnoses the problem and comes up with a solution. The most important and impressive aspect of Shauna's activities is, is as Matsy's safety officer, however, and this has really shown during the coronavirus pandemic. She took her role as department safety, safety officer to new levels over the past year, and much of the success we have enjoyed in maintaining a COVID-free stital building are due to her efforts and her leadership. In the short time that Shauna has been with the department, she has become a valued, reliable, and irreplaceable member of the MATSI community. She is truly worthy of the MATSI Outstanding Staff Award. Thank you, Shauna. Congratulations. Our third recipient, Laura, has been for performing her job at an exemplary level for nearly 13 years in MATSI. 
Many faculty have nominated Laura this year, all noting that her work during the COVID remote period is above and beyond. One nominator writes, when I work with colleagues from other institutions on collaborative proposals, they often envy us that because we have Laura to provide exceptional support. Laura is helpful, caring, and resourceful. Another nominator writes, Laura's dedication and extraordinary efforts have greatly enhanced my productivity in preparing so many proposals and managing so many projects over the years. Yet another nominator writes, Laura's dedication and extraordinary efforts have greatly enhanced my productivity in preparing so many proposals and managing so many projects over the years. Laura is highly deserving of the Matsey Outstanding Staff Award. Thank you and congratulations, Laura. It is now time to present the Material Science and Engineering Alumni of the Year Award. And this year, we are recognizing two individuals who obtained their degrees from Penn State. The first awardee is Dr. John Hellman. John earned his BS in Ceramic Science and a PhD in Material Science and Engineering, both from Penn State. He went on to work in the ceramic Ceramics Development Division at Sandia National Laboratories for a few years before he returned to MATC to help start the Center for Advanced Materials that was focused on the design of and with ceramics and high temperature systems. With funding from industry and federal agencies, John and his team were able to grow the center into a $3 million a year operation over the next eight years as they worked on fascinating projects, including developing components for the Rockwell X-30, NASA's National Aerospace Plane, and develop radiant ceramic tubes for industrial heating, a technology that is commonplace today. John went on to focus on undergraduate education in material science and became associate head for undergraduate programs in MATC during a time when the program was undergoing tremendous change. He then went on to become associate dean of education, of, of education in EMS and associate dean of graduate education and research in the college, roles for which he had many significant accomplishments. John retired earlier this year and we already miss him, although he's not going anywhere. Please join me in celebrating John's accomplishments and congratulate him on this award. The second awardee, alumna of the year, is Dr. Elizabeth Libby Cup. Libby is an associate teaching professor who received her BS in Ceramic Science and her PhD in Material Science and Engineering, both from Penn State. After her graduation, she accepted a postdoctoral position at Penn State for almost a year, and then a postdoctoral position at Oak Ridge National Laboratory. And after ORNL, she began a career at Kenna Metal, providing project leadership for development of silicon carbide whisker reinforced alumina metal cutting tools. In 2004, Libby returned to campus as a research associate developing and optimizing processing for fabrication of transparent ceramic gain metals based on YAG for high power lasers. She began teaching a few years later, starting with MATC 468 Ceramic Processing Laboratory. Since then, she has taught many different classes many times over the years, including developing new courses that enhance the curriculum. She has mentored countless undergraduate researchers, women in science and engineering, and international internship students as part of the MATC International Internship. In addition to her teaching and, advi and advising, Libby has published many articles received external funding grants and provided countless hours of service to the department, college and university. Since her return to Penn State, Libby has been actively involved in laboratory safety and she taught a course on laboratory safety management for the last four years. Please join me in celebrating Libby's accomplishments and congratulations Libby on being named alumna of the year. I am sure that you all agree with me when I say that I'm very proud of our department. 
and uh, you, you're all amazing and, and wonderful. Thank you all for your accomplishments and your support. This concludes the 2021 Matsey Award celebration and certificates and awards will be mailed to the, to the awardees. Thank you for attending this virtual event. I hope we can celebrate in person next year. Good night and good evening. <laughs>